Okay, so you have to do a close reading of a poem. Ah! Well, it doesn't have to be, ah! I know, I was just doing it for dramatic effect, but it can be really hard and pretty boring too. Well, let me teach you how. It can be easy and maybe not exactly fun, but at least more interesting. Let's start. First things first, let's get a poem. This one I really like, Song by Sir John Suckling. And now what? Well, let's read the poem. Okay, I'll do that. Why so pale and wan, fond lover? Privy, why so pale? Will, when looking well, can't move her? Looking ill, prevail? Privy, why so pale? Why so dull and mute, young sinner? Privy, why so mute? Will, when speaking well, can't win her? Saying nothing, do it? Privy, why so mute? Quit, quit, for shame, this will not move. This cannot take her. If of herself she cannot love, nothing can make her. The devil take her. And now I have no idea what this means or where to start with a close reading. Well, we have a lot to do. First, let's look at the structure of the poem. How many lines are there? Well, these are lines, so there are 15 of them. Right, and how many stanzas are there? Well, these are stanzas, so there are three of them with five lines in each one, making them quintains. Well, I have an overachiever here, don't I? Now let's look at the rhyme scheme. The last word from the first and third, third lines rhyme. So let's label those two A. Now it's your turn. Okay, well the second line rhymes with the fourth line and the fifth too. So we'll make those B. And the rest of the poem has the same pattern. So the rhyme scheme is A, B, A, B, B, C, D, C, D, D, E, F, E, F, F. And now count the syllables in each line. Okay, the first and third lines have eight syllables, and the second, fourth, and fifth lines have five, and the same goes for the other stanzas, too. Do you see any connection with the rhyme scheme? Oh, yeah, I do. Every line has the same number of syllables as the line it rhymes with. Absolutely right. Having fun yet? Not really. I just want to scribble all over the paper. Ah! Well, you can't. At least not like that. Let's find words that have alliteration and consonants. Do you know what those are? Of course I do. Alliteration is when the sounds at the beginning of words are the same, and consonants is when the sounds reappear anywhere in the word throughout a short time. Yeah, that is basically right. Well, then highlight them. Okay. Well, I'll start with the alliteration. I see lots of W's. Y, when, why, will, when, will, why. And P's too. Pale, privy, pale, prevail, privy, pale, privy, privy. And for consonants, the L sound. Pale, love, pale, will, looking, well, looking, ill, prevail, pale. And the T sound, too. Mute, mute, can't, do it, mute, quit, quit, not, cannot, cannot, take. Great. And what do you think these uses of alliteration and consonants do for the poem? I guess it adds to the uniform rhythm of the poem because the words flow nicely when you read it. I think it also makes it much more interesting and memorable. Yeah, that's a great way of putting it. I'm sorry, what's the point of the rainbow? Because alliteration and consonants are fun. And rainbows are fun. I don't see the connection. Tricks are for kids. What are you talking about? I'm just trying to make you see the fun in analyzing a poem. Okay, well can we please just finish this? Okay. Well, now comes the part that usually takes the longest. Oh, boy. Get out your handy-dandy dictionary because we are going to define some words. What's a dictionary? Don't play dumb with me. Oh, yeah. It's that book filled with all the meanings to words. You're not funny. Well, your rainbows and tricks weren't funny either. Okay, okay. Let's be serious. Often words have more than one definition, so it is important to look words up to find the most appropriate definition for the context of the poem. You even need to look up words that you already know the meaning of sometimes. What words do you think we need to define? Let's see. I guess wan, pale, and fond. And there are a lot more, too. Yeah, there is. But it really heightens your understanding of the poem. We won't do all of them. Let's just do the first few you picked so you get the concept. Let's start with wan. Wan means pale and giving the impression of ill health. Okay, let's move on to pale. Pale means having less color than usual, typically as a result of shock, fear, or ill health. And it can also mean inferior or unimpressive. Okay, and last we'll do fond. Fond means having affection for or loving, and it also means foolishly optimistic. Okay, I think that's enough. 
Finally, are we finished? Not yet. Have you actually figured out what this poem means yet? Yeah, I think so. It's about a mature man telling his young friend to stop whining over this girl who obviously doesn't want him. Good. Since you get the concept of the poem, how about we look at the use of imagery in this poem? Do you know what imagery is? Imagery is when the author uses words that make you see a picture of what he is writing about. Yeah, for the most part. Imagery is used to heighten the reader's understanding of the poem. So, you do, do, so do you see any uses of imagery in this poem? Possibly the speaker's description of the young man he's addressing? Well, I see pale, wan, ill, dull, and mute. I can see the young man looking sickly and probably standing secluded from everyone else instead of being social like he might normally be. Yeah, great. Well, this one is a stretch, but do you get anything out of young sinner? Well, in this context, the speaker might be talking about lust. So I can not only see the sickly young man standing alone, but now I see him staring at this woman, fixated on her, while she is being social and lively and paying him no attention. You are doing really great at this close reading. I knew you could do it. We're almost finished. Do you know what kind of poem this is? I have no idea. Well, there are many different kinds of poems, such as blank verse, ballad, ode, narrative, lyrical, and so on and so forth. Look those up on your own time. Gee, thanks. What, do you, have, do you think I have all day to teach you how to do a close reading? I have things to do, people to see. Anyways, what type of poem is this? This is a lyrical poem. As the title song might suggest, this was probably intended to be performed as a song. Lyrical poetry often re has repetitive lines or parts, like prethee, why so pale, and prethee, why so mute. You can see the repetition. And like many songs, the first two stanzas of this song reveal a question or problem, and the final stanza gives an answer or solution. So now that we have gone over how to do a close reading, tell me, in detail, what this poem is saying. <clears throat> okay. The speaker is mockingly questioning his friend's new approach to obtaining this lady's attention. In the first stanza, the speaker wonders why his friend thinks looking sickly will win the woman's heart when looking well did not. In the second stanza, the speaker wonders why his friend thinks that being silent will make the woman love him when speaking to her did nothing. And in the final stanza, the speaker seems to take a more serious and sensitive approach to his young friend's feelings. He informs his friend that he is acting foolishly and advises him to give up. He then aims the blame more towards the woman and away from his friend, saying that it is her fault and nothing can make her love. The speaker ends the poem with the devil take her, which is most likely an attempt to make his friend feel less sorrowful and more content with the situation. Wow, that was actually perfect. Great job. Thank you. Now are we finished? Yes. But before we go, I want to show you a revised version of this poem, for entertainment purposes only. That is a little easier to understand. I'll read it. Why do you look so bad, young fool? Tell me why so bad? She does not like you when you're cool. So bad may be fad? Tell me why so bad? Why so hushed, you lustful seeker? Tell me why so hushed? She does not like you as a speaker. Will dumb make her blush? Tell me why so hushed? Stop, you are embarrassing me. This will not work well. If by now she does not love thee, her heart may be stale. Bitch can go to hell.